Hello, Valley family. I'm here just to give you a quick tutorial on our new seat saving function that we're introducing for our indoor services starting on July 19th. Uh, so I just want to give you a quick overview of how that's going to work and um, how you can easily save your seat. Um, so starting from week to week, we're going to have reservations available starting at noon on Wednesdays, and that's just for simplicity's sake so that we have a, a set time where those reservations go live and also so that you know that if you're registering after Wednesday, you are reserving your seat for the upcoming Sunday. And obviously those reservations will close at the time of the service. So there are two ways, uh, two primary ways through our church websites to access the reservation system. First off, you can go to valleyfree.info When you go to valleyfree.info, this page should look familiar if you've been joining us. For outdoor services, we have as a, as a host for our bulletin, the worship lyrics, and as well as safety procedures. Um, so this is this is going to be our new hub of information as we're uh, attempting to move to more contactless uh, services, such as with the bulletin um, and worship lyrics while we've been outside. So starting uh this coming or during this week you'll be able to save a seat through valleyfree.info so you'll scroll down and you'll see here save a seat for this sunday now there's another way to access this as well if you go to the main page of the website valleyfree.org um, on the front screen you will see this which is says click here to reserve a spot that will take you to the same page we're just at so if you have the website bookmarked, you can go to the home page and click on that banner. It'll be at the front starting this week and it will direct you to the same site. So as you can see, it's a, just a very simple box on this valleyfree.info page and it's save a seat for this Sunday. It will list worship service. Make sure to check the dates to make to that this is the for the upcoming Sunday. So this upcoming Sunday is July 19th, 2020. Service is starting at 10 a.m. General admission just means that you're reserving a seat in the worship center, but that doesn't guarantee where you're going to be sitting. That would be a little complicated uh, for us to do. So also I'll point out that, th that reservations are free. We haven't decided to charge. That would not go over well, and we're not planning on that, I promise you. Um, it just has that as an option because the service we're using Eventbrite will... Um, has the option to charge for reservations, but we will not be utilizing that function. So it should always read zero. Um, so general admission, so what you'll do, you'll go here, you'll select the amount of seats that you wanna save for the upcoming Sunday. For me, I'll select two seats and then hit the register button. Take a second to load and then it will direct you to here where you can enter your information. Enter your name email address uh, that you want the reservation confirmation to go to. I recommend also unchecking these boxes. These are not promotional emails that will be coming from the church. These are promotional emails that will be coming from Eventbrite. So please uncheck those boxes to declutter your inbox unless you want to know about random events that are happening around. Just know that that is not coming from us. So uncheck those boxes, enter your information, hit register, and in just a few moments that confirmation will be sent to the email that you entered and i will show you in just a second what that looks like all right as you can see i have gotten my confirmation email um, that just says that i have reserved my seat for this sunday two tickets date and time you can add it to your calendar using those the address of the church in case it's been a while and you need to remember where to go but that is how you can get your reservation. And we just recommend you have this handy uh, as you come to our service uh, for what you have reserved. Um, if you have any difficulties with the system, you can contact the office and we can help you with that. Or um, we can reserve the seats for you and send those to your email. And unfortunately, for the first few weeks, we will be having are limiting the amount of seats to 70. And that's just for us to get used to meeting indoors and um, figuring out more ways that we can safely expand this service to have more seats available. And um, so this is just a temporary thing uh, for the, the limit that it's at for this week. If you're unable to reserve a seat and they're all full already, 
we just ask that you um, try again for the next week and, and make your reservation then and, um, and join us through our live stream, which will be starting on July 19th as well, which will be available through the church website. Um, and if you are able to reserve a seat and you know of, of some people that weren't able to reserve a seat for one Sunday, um, that would be a good opportunity for you to allow someone else to attend a service. Um, and so um, we just, we thank you for bearing with us through this process. And, and if you have any questions about how the system works, please let us know. We'd be happy to help and answer those questions for you. We look forward to seeing you uh, this coming Sunday. And um, we're excited to continue to regather as a church um, as we keep moving forward.